Did you know that there is a specific spot in the side where you're affected by the swamp decay? It hits you for 1 to 3 damage every few minutes, and it can send you back to Lumbridge if you stay there long enough. The reason for this is because the hitbox for swamp decay from Mauritania is leaking through the river and affecting the dig side as well. Or did you know that there is a chance to get a skilling pet with zero experience? This is only possible for the thieving pet, aka Rocky Boy. The way to do that is simple. You go to Sorcerer's Garden minigame and entering Winter Garden, which requires one thieving level, you get farming experience, despite this being a thieving activity. This will give you approximately 1 in 10,000 chance to obtain the thieving pet, which on average takes around 170 hours to obtain. So if you ever wanted the skill pet with zero experience in that skill, this is your chance. Did you know that there used to be an LMS duplication glitch where you can win every single game? You see, back in the day, LMS used to be available in every single world. So 24 players entered the lobby, each paying 100k GP. They loaded into LMS and climbed the ladder. Yes, when you climb a ladder, the minigame thinks you were out of the game. So when 24 players all climb the ladder at the same exact time, the minigame thinks there is zero survivors left. Kicking everyone out and the winner at the time received 1.5 million GP. So this would mean all 24 players technically won the game and also won that money. This took only few minutes per run and it was estimated to be around 2 billion GP per hour. Number 4. This is a good one. Ever wanted to join an old school RuneScape community? Well, this is your lucky day. We have opened up a community discord server for all RuneScape players where we do monthly events, giveaways and much more. For example, this week we're doing boss of the week where the prize pool is 30 million GP and the boss this time around is the Rat King. So come join us whether you want to participate in events or just find a community to hang out with. Discord link is in the description. Number 5. Just recently there was one of the biggest ultimate Iron Man wipes of all time, where a player lost approximately 5000 hours of progress on their account. When Duke Sekelas came out, there was an AFK mining method near the boss that allowed you to go away from the computer for 6 hours while still gaining mining experience. This player used the method and accidentally moved his cursor away from the mining spot, causing him to move to a dangerous area nearby. When he came back, he saw his account near his spawn point and all his items were gone. For comparison, it would take the average player around 4-5 to five years to achieve all those items. The worst part is, this account already had 99 mining. Because you can see the max cape in the loot pile but the player just wanted to do something afk while he was gone which was his inevitable downfall you can use almost any head slot item on the hat stand and it will give you a message back saying oops it fell off the hat stand and cause the item to fall on the floor almost every tradable head slot item has the same dialogue except for a quest item ram skull helm which has its own dialogue stating that it's too damn valuable to use on the hat stand there are two ways to bring a melee weapon to Entrana Island. Number one is making your own battle stuff from Celestra's Park, and the second option is using a Christmas cracker on another player to have a 1 in 21 chance to receive a black dagger. With the current prices of 500k each for a single Christmas cracker, this will cost you approximately 10 million GP to smuggle a black dagger to Entrana. Blackjacks can be used in PvP against other players and there is a chance to stun your opponent based on how much hit points they have. The lower the hit points, the higher chance to stun, so technically you can bring 100 teammates to multi-combat and infinitely stun your opponents, leaving them helpless to move, eat or do anything else. There is a way to lock your character inside someone else's player-owned house, unless you teleport out directly. They remove the portal and there is no exit. All the rooms are closed off and the owner of the house jokingly even sells teleport tabs for an insane price up. The only way to get out is if you brought your own teleports with you or if you go to settings and under house options you leave the POH. But if you don't know that and your home teleport is on cooldown you are literally stuck in someone else's house. Okay, this is my personal favorite. Did you know that by subscribing to this channel, you get good quality content every single week for the rest of your life? Well, now you know. So make sure to subscribe to not miss out on my next video. Mwah. Back in 2019, after Song of the Elves was released, unlike all the other weapons, there was no cap on how many monsters you could spec with the Crystal Halbert. This caused some insane experience rates, where people used a special attack on hundreds of monsters at the same time, gaining upwards of 1 million strength experience per hour. But this was quickly fixed when Jaggers found out about it, and they changed it so you can spec only 10 NPCs at the same time. Since we're already talking about Song of the Elves, during the trial cutscene for the King of Artoin, the 
that she let the master can be seen on the Arduin rooftop watching down suspiciously. Nobody really knows why he's in the cutscene, as he serves no purpose for the quest. There is a sarcophagus in the pyramid plunder lobby that is closed. Until you clear up the rubble from the bird rod pop during a quest, and then the sarcophagus magically opens up only for you. The Dragonfall Helm originally was intended to be a reward from Fremenica's quest, and it was put together from two pieces, one obtained from Natis Knot and the other from Yetiso. Unfortunately, this didn't make it into the game, and instead the Dragonfall Helm received a graphical update and was added few months later to Mithril Dragons. Near the Rat Pits, there are rat traps that can be filled with cheese, which will make a new item called a Loaded Trap, and any other account can take this cheese, which is one of the only ways to transfer infinite cheese from main accounts to Iron Man accounts. So technically, you can trade infinite cheese to your Iron Man account, but please, use this cheese method with caution. If you search for a very specific crate in the Goblin Cave, a chicken, rat and spider will pop out and everything in the area will start attacking you. This crate has its own unique ID and what makes it special is that all the NPCs turn aggressive towards you. There used to be the same exact crate in Ganyphis, this time all the werewolves became aggressive towards you, however Jagex removed this in 2014. You can train 99 crafting on Entrana without ever leaving the island. There is a seaweed spawn near the coast on northern side. Then you can use the range in the middle of the island to turn seaweed into soda ash. There is also a bucket spawn and sand pit right next to it, and also a furnace which allows you to turn your items into molten glass. And finally there is a glass blowing pipe spawn to make any of the glass products. So if you ever wanted to make an Entrana locked ultimate Giga Chad Iron Man with only 99 crafting, this is your time to shine. The Crystal Crown has a restock time of 250 million game ticks, which equals to almost 5 years. However, nobody will ever see it in game because all shops restock their items after the game update happens every Wednesday. But technically, you can buy 3 Crystal Crowns for 750 million GP, and if there is no game update for 5 years, you will be the only player able to buy Crystal Crowns from this store. Armadale is gay. Yeah, that's it. I have nothing else to add here. I just thought you wanted to know. Armadale in the lore has had two husbands. One husband died of old age and the other died in battle. So according to the RuneScape 3 lore, Armadale is currently single and ready to mingle. If you log in on a very specific tile near the Padded Armor's church, a cool will attack you and knock you out. You will then respawn few seconds later next to the church doors. This only works when you log out, then log back in, and nobody knows why this happens. In 2014, there used to be a no clip bug in Oatsko Runescape that allowed existing players to get back to the tutorial island. By using flower mechanics and overflowing the game interface, the player continues to work even on water, which is, by the way, approved by Jesus. Then they land on the other side where the island is and they would have a full existing account on the tutorial island. This was also used to duplicate bronze arrows, since at the time you can technically get infinite amount of bronze arrows from the combat tutorial, which caused the price of bronze arrows to completely plummet to 1 GP. It is estimated that over 200 million bronze arrows entered the game every single day, until Jax found out about it, banned all the accounts and fixed the no clipping bug. If you have the average luck on your old school runescape account from start to finish and you're trying to complete all the collection log tasks, not including the ones that will be added in the future, it would take you approximately 170 years to complete old school runescape 100%. Since new updates get added every year, it is safe to say that no player will ever be able to complete this game 100%. Scenaris is actually Kilenor's moon, so you are literally driving into space every time you go ask for a new Slayer task on your newbie Iron Man. There is an imp that spawns the northwest corner of GE and its wonder radius was never changed to account for the addition of GE, so it just gets stuck facing the wall forever and always. And finally, before Old School Runescape came out, Jagex found two recovery tapes of Old School Runescape in 2012. One backup was March 2007 and the other was August 2007. If we had gotten the March version, we would have missed out on so many items that we see today, like Piety, Dragonfire Shields, Dragonfall Helm, Void Helmets, Barbarian Fishing, Implings, Dark Bows, Dragon Arrows, Dragon Darts, 
multiple lunar spells, achievement diaries, berserker necklace, the wilderness ditch, the city of Torges Khan, and few other updates that happened between those months. Yes, all of this entered the game in just matter of few months, so we're lucky that Chirax actually had a recovery build of August 2007 update, which is the old school runescape version we see today. And that includes our juiciest, most awesome facts. If you enjoyed any part of this video, consider subscribing to the channel, but that's it from me. I love you all very much and I'll see you all tomorrow with another video. Bye! Mm -hmm.